Figma has released four new products along with many new features in their Config 2025 event. I watched the whole Config video and I'm gonna walk you through all these new products and features so you don't have to watch the whole damn Config. I'm gonna also tell you about if these features are going to be free or paid and when will you get access to these features. So stay tuned till the end. Now let's begin. All right, so the first one that they talked about was the new grid feature. Now in the layouts, you have this new option to make your frame into a grid with columns and rows. You can adjust the count of these columns and rows as well. And now in these grids, you can fit your content kind of like a bento grid system. And I think so, this was a long time coming. Grids are very important and give us that structure and control that we just couldn't get through auto layouts, if you know what I mean. Uh, now, of course, the absolute positioning, padding, and everything else will also work with this just as before. Uh, and I think so, this is a great feature. Uh, by the way, this is available to everyone right now. Uh, just update your Figma and you will get access to it. Next up, we have Figma Sites. Now, this is a completely separate product from Figma Designs, just like Figma Slides and Fig Jam. This is basically a no-code website builder tool. It's going to be direct competitor to Framer and Webflow. In Figma Sites, you will be able to copy and paste your Figma web designs and they will automatically become functioning websites that you can publish and uh, share with everybody else. It's going to have the ability to make responsive web designs as well. And the best thing is that this will include interactions and animation features as well. In the demo, they actually showed this bouncy animation from a preset that I think looked pretty well. Of course, we're going to have to see how it competes with well-established tools like Framer, Webflow and Wix Studio. It's still in beta, so don't keep your hopes high, but I think so it's going to be interesting to at least try it out. Uh, they also talked about the CMS integration, uh, just like Framer. This will also include CMS. Using CMS, you can connect your database data set with your designs to make it more dynamic, but they said that this is going to be coming soon. It's not going to release on day one with Figma sites, but it will come soon. They also talked about code integrations, which I think so is still in where it's very early stages and we're going to have to see what it can actually do. But I don't want to jump the gun here, so I'm not going to be talking about it right now. But in the future, I'll make a proper video for this. All right. Next on the product list, we have Figma Buzz. This is a funny one. I don't see much value in it for the designers. I think so this is more focused on marketing materials. Uh, it is basically a bulk editor so you can bring in your designs in this product. Again, this is going to be a separate product and you can connect your data with these frames. It could be like a spreadsheet that you can connect with your data with the elements. So for example, text column of a spreadsheet could connect with the one of these text elements and an image column from the spreadsheet can connect to one of these images and it will produce these mass designs from that data automatically. This one doesn't make a lot of sense for me at least, but maybe this is a use case for a lot of people. I don't know. We will have to see when we try it out. Next up, we have Figma Draw. I quite like this one. So basically, it's not a separate product. It's a different mode inside your Figma design file, just like you have dev mode. Now you have a draw mode. In here, you get all these funky little brush tools and other such tools to draw more creative shapes, which includes a better advanced vector editing tools. This also includes features like adding textures to images. And as you can see over here, uh, you can also add patterns. We can do dynamic strokes. One of the things that I quite like was this progressive blur where you can control the area of the blur to make it more natural. I don't know, they had like 22 new things in here. So I will be covering them soon in a detailed video about this. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Next, we have Figma Make. This is a dedicated AI product where you will be able to prompt to create designs in real time. And remember, these are not static designs. These are actual interactive designs with code and everything. And it's pretty sweet. It's in very early stages and gets the prompt wrong all the time. Even in the config demo, it didn't go perfectly. I mean, it's AI, right? So we got to take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, we're going to have to give it some time to see how it works over the upcoming months. So that's it for the features and products from config keynote. Now about the release dates and who will get access grids. Everybody is going to get access to this feature, including the, the free plan users. It is already available in Figma, so you can just update your Figma and you will have this feature. Figma sites uh, is still in beta. It's going to be launched on May 6th or May 7th and only people with full seat 
will have access to it. Uh, Figma sites, CMS and code integrations is coming soon. No dates announced for this weeks or maybe months uh, and full seat owners are going to have access to it. Figma make uh, it is also coming soon. No date has been announced for this. This will be available to everyone while it's in beta. But after that, it's going to be a separate product with cost involved. Figma Buzz is launching on May 6th or May 7th. It's going to be full seats, dev seats and content seat owners who will get access to it. Figma Draw, the final one, it's also coming on May 6th or May 7th and available to only full seat owners. So that's it for this video. I think so Figma has outdone themselves this year, especially taking on board so many different directions with so many different products. And it's going to be exciting to see how they scale all these products together. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And like always, see you in the next one.